Okay, well I need 45 crafting to to make maple bird houses since my hunter level is now 44. So I'm going to grab a couple crafting levels to start the episode off. Well, our cash stack is completely eviscerated. It is gone, but we have 45 crafting. So let's go do some birdhouse runs. Maple now. Good morning, everybody. It is double XP on RuneScape 3, so I will be doing a lot of that today. So a lot of questing and stuff will get done on this account today. I did some uh, motherload mine last night just to chill out in AFK. Not a whole lot, but figure we'll sell that and see how much cash we get. These are going for quite a bit, so yeah. Insta sold those, and everything else is just, yeah, ores are selling pretty good, so that gave us a nice 200k there. Uh, might have to do some more AFK and motherload mine, because that's, that's very nice. An absolutely huge quest to start the day that cost us uh, quite a bit of money to do, but it's done, and we have to pick, I think we'll go strength, so 10k strength, 10k strength, and that is Fremenic Isles done, and we have a Natanot helmet now, which is going to be our best helmet other than the Slayer helmet for a while. We also got some XP, no, uh, 62 strength, 57 wood cutting, 45 construction, a lot of levels. And yeah, this helmet is going to be our best helmet other than our Slayer helmet for a while, once we have 55 defense to actually wear it. Here's something we haven't done in quite a little while, a achievement diary. We've got the Karamja Easy Diary done here. And that should get us an XP lamp and some gloves. Uh, I don't think they have a teleport. Yeah. So just the XP lamp for now. We're going to put this on Slayer because early Slayer is being really uh, not great. So we might start lamping it just a bit. Another quest inbound. This is Olaf's quest. I uh, did this for the defense XP because we need, desperately need some defense levels to catch up to our other combats. But yeah, overall just an easy quest. We also hit 1100 total off that, so pretty cool. One more quest today. We've got Getting Ahead finished. Uh, this one I could have done for a while, but I didn't have an easy way to get over here until I had Fairy Rings. But now that we have Fairy Rings, I went ahead and got that finished. Should be some crafting XP, I think, which is nice because crafting is expensive right now. Oh, and construction. Nice. Uh, Crafting level 46, and that's it. I am on a roll with the quest today. We just finished Shiloh Village. Once we finish this dialogue, there we go. Shiloh Village. We can now enter Shiloh Village, and we get a little crafting XP, which is nice, because crafting is still really expensive. On to more quests. I'm doing a bunch of quests today because I'm AFKing RuneScape 3, because it's double XP weekend. So I've got a lot of time to play today, so I'm going to make the most of it and get some quests done. Well, that quest never gets any better uh, any time that you do it, but that is one small favor finally finished. That took quite a minute, but I've really been feeling the quest today, so I think I'm going to do more, too. I think we're going to put these lamps on Slayer, because like I said, early Slayer is pretty bad, and this will get us up to, f up to probably past 40. Yep, right on 40. And we're at 1110 total. And that was, we're at 91 quests in. I didn't know we had done that many, but um, honestly, I'm just going to knock out some more. One more quest. Again, Creature of Fenkenstrain. Uh, that one was really easy compared to one small favor. So um, I'm going to just keep doing quests while I've got the motivation. I don't know why I'm so motivated to do them today. 93, but we're going to keep it up. You know, I remember that quest being a lot worse than it uh, was this time. That actually didn't take all that long. There's underground pass, maybe 30, 30, 45 minutes. But there we go. That gave us some XP and most importantly, the Ivan Staff, which is going to far and away be our best magic weapon for a long time until we get uh, maybe Desert Treasure and some other quests like that. Back to Motherload Mine until 50, 
for Heroes Quest because we need to start working on Legends Quest for Recipe for Disaster. And there we go, 50 mining. Coming in with another quest, we've got Heroes Quest. Shout out to the person in chat who I will see after it's done. There's Heroes Quest done, bunch of XP, uh, probably going to be a bunch of levels. And shout out to Ellie Twist for helping me out. Good quest to get done. Uh, we're going to do Legends Quest soon and then uh, finish up Recipe for Disaster. Decided to do a little more Slayer. There's our sixth task. We got 10 points and about 2k XP. And there's Slayer task number seven. We had Harpy Bug Swarms. Those kind of suck, but um, that was about 4k XP and 10 more Slayer points. Slayer task number eight. Whatever these things were, I've never killed them in my life, but 2k XP and 10 more points. Took a little break from Slayer to do some questing, and here is Garden of Tranquility done. I think that's going to grab us a farming level up to 48, and let's go do some more stuff. So, I've actually never splashed before, but we need a couple magic levels for some quests, and I don't have that much free time today, so I'm going to try it out for a little while and see how slow or fast it is, um, but it's super AFK, so um, we're going to be doing this for a while today. Well, I in fact did not get to play today, but I did splash all day, and I got 59 magic, which is the level we needed. Uh, it cost basically nothing, and it's it's better than the alternative, which was not playing at all today. So, uh, I think it was pretty worth it, considering it didn't cost pretty much anything. So, now we're going to go do the quest that we wanted to do, and then I think we'll end it there and try to get this uploaded today. And here is Family Crest done, finally. Uh, we get some gauntlets for this that I think we can turn into goldsmith gauntlets or cooking gauntlets or whatever whatever we want to do with them. So that's a good reward, and we are that much closer to getting Bear's Gloves. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. These are the stats we're ending on. It's been a couple days, so I want to go ahead and get this up. We're doing great on quests, and um, yeah, overall, here's the, what the stats look like, and I'll get you the ranks in the next clip. Alright, and here's where we're ending off the episode for today. We went down a little bit in rank, but that's okay, because we focused really heavily on quests. So, very proud of where the accounts come so far, and I will see you in the next one with even more questing. We're going to go for some bearer's gloves, and eventually Questcape is our first major goal. Uh, that's where I'm going to try to lean the stats towards. But other than that, have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment so that hopefully one of my videos one of these days gets thrown into the algorithm for the recommended or whatever. But either way, I'm enjoying making these. I hope you're enjoying watching them. And I will see you in a couple days with the next one.